Hello friends, today we are going from this, watch this reveal, da, 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 to this. You want it one more time? I got one, watch, watch this. Going from this to that. It took me a while to edit, so I thought, you know, I'd give it the credit that it was due. Anyways, today we're making bin storage. As you could see, our garage was a disaster and I wanted to make it less of a disaster. Organized. All right, here's what you'll need for this project. Really a bunch of two by threes from uh, Home Depot or Lowe's. You can use two by fours, a little more expensive, a little bulkier, but I bought all the lumber I needed for 50 bucks. Use some screws I already had on hand. Obviously you're gonna need a saw, a drill, drill bits, but all in all, this is a pretty low lift project. I think it goes without saying, you will need some bins. The bins that I picked up were from Home Depot. I'll throw the link below, but these are the ones that I used for this specific project. I think they're about 10 or $11 a piece. All right, as we get started here, I'm going to put a list right up here of the amount of two by threes I got, your lengths for cuts, and the amount of pieces you'll need. I'll keep that up there for a little bit as we get started. But really the consensus of this project is to make a bunch of these. Let's just call them ladders. And I'll get fancy here, well, fancy-ish. I'll show you with these orange lines, the distances between, and then give you the measurements between the spacing of the ladders. All right, the first measurement at the bottom is 12 inches. The next four are 15 inches. And then the very top measurement is four inches. Again, these will just be the perfect measurements for the bins that I'm using. If you use other bins, you're gonna need other measurements, pretty simple. If you can see here, I cut a block at 15 inches and I use it as a spacer so I didn't have to measure each time. You might've also seen I use a mixture of a nail gun and a drill, but whatever works, whatever you have, just make sure they're secure. All right, so you will need two ladders that look just like this, but then you will also need two ladders that look just like this, which is really just the same thing, except you're putting those 30 inch pieces on the other side as well. I'll show you that finished product again and zoom in a little bit so you see what that is used for just so bins can go on either side. All right, so obviously this part's easy. You just line up those cross beams and double it up on each side. Once you've finished that, you're honestly about ready to start constructing it and putting it all together. And this is the part of the video that I tell you I forgot to film that. Um, let's just say my camera broke. I don't remember what actually happened. But I will kind of walk through it right here, what it really looks like, how the bins pull out. So it's been awesome so far. It's freed up so much space in our garage. I love it. And the only tips and tricks I'd have for the construction of putting the ladders all together is make sure you're level and then maybe put one or two pieces on the back so it's easier to screw into the wall. Obviously you wanna make sure it's nice and secure. All right, that is how I created some bin storage in our garage. Hopefully it was helpful. If you have any questions, throw them in the comments, subscribe if you'd like. And I think that's all. Look at that.